What's up, guys? <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> it's Byron and Christina again here with Building with Byron and Christina. Hey, we just wanted to welcome you guys back to the show. I know it's been a while since we filmed the video. A long while, a couple months. Yeah, it's a couple <laughs> months, but a lot has happened, as you can see behind us yeah. in that time. When we left you guys, we were very excited to have broken ground on this property. Yeah. And a lot has happened since breaking ground. Yeah, quite a bit has happened since breaking ground. Uh, we've moved on to pouring the footings for the foundation, having the block guys come out and lay the block for the foundation, mm -hmm. backfilling the foundation, mm -hmm. uh, termite treatment. And rough plumbing. Rough plumbing, mm -hmm. as well as pouring the slab. And as I said before, as you can see behind us, we have a house that's nearly complete with framing. Yeah. So it's just about another week left on framing. Um, after that, we'll be able to get our framing inspection done in a, the next week. Mm -hmm. And then also our electrician is gonna come out to do a few more things. The plumber is gonna come out for another layer of the plumbing yes. <laughs> set up, I guess. And then in what, a week or two? we'll be able to move forward with getting shingles on this roof. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So a lot of progress has been made. Uh, a lot of things still in work. Uh, we have some separate videos that we'll be posting and sharing later yes. that talks about how we made it to this point. Lots of stories. <laughs> yeah, so lots of stories along the way with delays and, you know, the normal things that you run into with construction. But all said and done, I think we're on a good schedule yep. uh, from break, breaking ground to where we are now uh, nearly finishing framing that's been two months roughly two yep. months so we're making good progress even with the delays that we've had from weather and supply chains uh, but as we said we'll give you more of those details in future videos uh, that we've recorded but we haven't quite edited to share with you all yet yes and today we are doing something very exciting as your reward for, <laughs> for hanging with us through our absence. We are going to be taking you guys on the first of many walkthroughs of the property to kind of show you guys what the layout is going to look like. And it's, it's exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> I mean, it seems like with every step from when they stake the property yeah. uh, and we could see the layout and then we got an idea of how big it was. It seemed a little bit small, you know, in certain areas, but then they poured the foundation and it, it's, it's like the house grew mm -hmm. bigger. And then once they started throwing up walls, it really started to come together and make a difference. And it ain't I, small no more. <laughs> yeah, it's not small. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty good size home. Uh, the home is about 2250 square feet with brick. Uh, it is five bedrooms plus a study. Mm -hmm. And we have an open concept with a large great room, uh, kitchen, and dining area. So uh, this house should suit our family for years to come. Yes. And um, you'll get a chance to see kind of in its rough stage, uh, you know, the floor plan. Yeah. So let's go. Yeah. It's cold. Let's take them inside. <laughs> All right, so when you come into the property from here, you're going to be entering through the garage. The first thing you're going to see is this area where there will be some cubbies where the kids can hang up their backpacks, coats, shoes, all of that stuff so that it's not creating clutter somewhere else in the house. Moving further along, we have this area right here that initially was going to be the entryway to the laundry room space, but as framing got started and once the foundation was poured and all of that we realized that that was actually kind of a waste of space and this area would be better suited as additional storage space where we can hold mops brooms the vacuum all that good kind of stuff that you want to be able to tuck away but you still want to be able to have easy access to and that's what we've created right here moving around coming down this hallway this is going to be the laundry room area not a lot to say about it. It's where the dirty clothes happen and unhappen. But once you come this way, this is where the master suite is. Now, initially, this was going to be a wall right here because we wanted to create some privacy so that if someone was looking down this hall, they weren't looking directly into our master bedroom. But what we ended up discovering was that that layout would take more space than we wanted from the room that we had in here. So what we had our framer do was 
put a space for a pocket door right here so that we can close that for full blown privacy. But at other times, we're gonna have a screen right here so that if someone does look down, they can't look directly into our room. So stepping into the primary or master suite from the door, the first thing you're gonna see over to your right is the master closet. So the master closet is huge. <laughs> it's a moment. It's gonna be plenty of room for whatever we need to do. We're actually planning to have like a bench and a mirror and all kind of stuff in here so that we can really kind of create a beautiful space for that. From there, you step into fully into the room. We're gonna have two big windows and all of that good stuff. So I'm really excited to be able to decorate this space. And now for one of the things I am most excited about in this house, the master bath. So initially the layout for this space was quite different, but then we started calling around, getting quotes and stuff about how much the shower was gonna cost. And once we knew that, it was like, uh-uh, we need this expensive shower front and center. So now when you walk into the master bathroom space. Over here, you'll have the toilet room where, you know, you handle bathroom type of business. Back here in this corner, we're gonna have a freestanding tub and a big window that frames that tub. The shower will be here. We'll have it all tiled in with a nice glass door. And then here we'll have our nice double vanities so that we can have a his space that's gonna stay probably a whole lot neater and cleaner than the her space, but I'm trying y'all, I promise I'm trying. All right, so Chris Christina has walked you through our master suite and wing. And so now we'll kind of go through the community areas of the home where um, the kitchen is, the great room, and where a lot of fun will happen. So as we're leaving the master now, which is behind me, uh, we're entering into the great room, which is right over here. So the great room is a 16 by 20 foot area, and it is open, as you see, to the actual dining room and kitchen. So what this means is, you know, while you're sitting at the dining table or sitting at the island or sitting here, you know, in the living room, everyone is able to kind of communicate and speak to one another as though it's one giant room. Also, the ceilings throughout the house are nine foot ceilings, but here in the great room, the ceilings are actually extended to 10 foot tall ceilings within this room. Also, you'll see flanked on each side. You have uh, large picture windows here. Uh, we did something unique with our fireplace where we're pushing it out into a covered screened in patio on the back porch. And that allows more air, more flow and movement through this space instead of having that fireplace kind of sticking out into the room. Now, if we pivot, Excuse the braces, uh, currently, as, as we said earlier, we're wrapping up framing this week. But uh, essentially what we're in now is the kitchen. The kitchen is 11 feet by 13 feet long. And um, you'll have the refrigerator that sits right here in this corner. Cabinets along the wall. And cabinets along this back wall as well. And then there will be a cooktop range here with an island that sits right about in here where these boards are. Uh, then over to the right here will be the dining area. It will have, you know, seating for four to six guests here at the table. Right off the dining area is the covered patio and the roof extends over the patio to provide additional shade in the summer months. And we know here in Arkansas that it gets very hot. So we're very excited about having a covered patio, a spot that's already installed. So I'm gonna hop through the picture window now. <laughs> All right, so as we move to the other side of the house, uh, we have a wing, I guess you could call them wings. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's uh, two rooms 
here on this side of the house uh, that will serve as our daughter's rooms. And there's an additional two rooms on the front side of the house that will serve as Christina and I's offices. So coming over here into, I guess, the kids' wing, uh, we start out with a room here. This room is about 11 by 12 foot room. And each one of the rooms has a walk-in closet. So this room here fits those same dimensions, about 11 by 12. Uh, then I'm gonna hold Christina's hand as she comes across these brace in here. Where I'm standing right now is in the kids' bathroom. And the way that we set this bathroom up, you'll see that the headers in here are wider. And the reason for that is we'll have pocket doors. Um, this bathroom is partitioned into two pieces. So there will be a hers and hers vanity <laughs> right here for when they're getting ready in the morning. Uh, there'll be an additional pocket door here that allows for them to uh, also have privacy if they're using the lavatory or if they're taking a shower over here. So. With this setup, one person could be brushing their teeth while the other person is taking a shower or vice versa. That way we get rid of all the complaints about why we didn't get to school on top. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a little bit backwards, but this is actually the front of the home. So there will be some steps and stuff leading up to where I'm standing, but coming up, all of this space is porch space. This is just a brace for right now, so that's not gonna be there. But we have all this nice front porch space, and then from there, we will step in through the front doors. Step it into the front door. All of this area right here is front entryway, foyer area, which was really important to me <laughs> because I want to be able to have a foyer table. I don't know what it is about it. I want to have a foyer table. So that was important to me. Stepping off of the foyer, this is the grown-ups wing or the work wing, I guess. So the first thing that you're going to see when you step over here is the powder bath or half bathroom. This is where our guests will come. This is what Byron and I will use. Not, you know, not a lot of space. You've got room for a pedestal seat and a toilet. That's all you need in here because what are you gonna be doing? You know, <laughs> from there, stepping over here, this is Byron's office space. And we made sure to get soundproofing on this wall because he's actually gonna be sharing this wall with one of the girls and you know how kids get. <laughs> so. We're gonna be soundproofing here, but there's also gonna be soundproofing here on this wall because Byron takes a lot of phone calls and stuff with his job, and I am going to be over here in my office space creating masterpieces, and I don't need to hear all of that. And then, directly across from the powder, we have the space that is going to be my office. Now, I somehow <laughs> decided that I needed to be the one with the big window as if I need any more distractions, but it's gonna be there. But we've had the big window, nice ample office space, and then we both have closets. His closet will of course open from that side and a closet there as well. Now, because these are for the auxiliary bedrooms, we didn't need necessarily a lot of closet space, but we definitely wanted it to be enough that it's good enough it's big enough for teenage girls which we'll have soon or storage space for me for all my crafts i don't know what byron is going to do where are you going to store your <laughs> what's going to be in your closet byron? i don't um, know we're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to gather some things he's, he's not he's not the 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 storage person in the house but you see this is enough room for me to be you know i can step inside there's enough room for not lots of nice shelving, clothing racks, all that good stuff. I think these are what, four feet by four feet? Yeah, four and a half. Four, four and, and a half. half by four and a half. Four and a half by four and a half to give you plenty of space for whatever you might need. And then there's one more room that I think we both kind of forgot about <laughs> yeah. because it's crazy that we were even able to fit this room in this floor plan. So we're gonna do a little bit of bobbing and weaving to get back out. So just to ground you back in the space, 
Over here is the entryway. We're stepping out into the bread room here. Kitchen is over there. And over here, we have a room as well. Now, we're still, there's still a bit of debate about what this room is eventually going to be. Right now, it is designated as our workout room. We've got a nice big window here. And the reason that you see this large header here instead of just the normal size is we're gonna have double doors here with some type of frosted glass or something. What's that, what that is going to do for us is that all the light coming in from this window, we are going to be able to let that light come through through the, uh, through the frosted glass on these windows so that we don't lose the benefit of that light in the great room, which is gonna enable the whole house to feel nice and bright and airy, which is something that is really important to us for the feel of part of home. That has been the tour of our home. Uh, we want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching with us. Thanks for being patient with us as we yes. bring you these updates. <laughs> you. Um, there'll be more updates to come as far as how we got to this point. Mm -hmm. But uh, as you can see, it's coming along. Yep. Really nice. Uh, one other thing to point out in the roof, we've got radiant barrier decking all throughout. So that's going to help us in the southern climate when it gets hot. Yeah. We're all bundled up right now because winter has finally hit here. We actually had and, a few uh, snow flurries. Yeah, had a few snow flurries and it's 20, what, what feels, was it? It was feels like 20 30, degrees. but feels like 20. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So again, from Byron and Christina, we want to say thank you for tuning in and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Take care.